with the wonderful Angama Pride. And uh, there was a bit of fun this morning as a cub was attempting to stalk and hunt a zebra. A little bit big for him, I'm afraid, but uh, I do like the chutzpah he was showing. And... Uh, they're not looking too hungry, but uh, they were on the move, but I think they've flopped down for now. So they're just lying there, having a look. And that female is looking longingly to where the zebra disappeared towards. I think the grass is a bit short for them to have success uh, during the daylight hours, unless something happens to stumble upon them. Now, there's literally a carpet of lions starting there. One, two, three, four... And keep going five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And now we get into the, the serious cub spots. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Behind there's two in that pile there. 16. Uh, so 16 in total. So four adult lionesses. 12 cubs currently. Now, I think there were th oh, there's one cub missing, but it could very easily be having a snooze behind one of the large bushes, or not so large bushes, the round bushes, or could just be flat behind a clump of grass. All the smallest ones seem to be accounted for. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, four of them. Five, five, five little ones. Oh, the girls, the lady seems to have seen something. The lady on top of the termite mound, she's definitely picked up her interest, or two of them have. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Isn't that just magnificent? Yeah, what can I see in the distance? I can see some eland, but they seem a bit far away, and some zebra also a bit far away. What have you seen, pretty lady? Stephen and co are, is wondering why do lions change colour from the beautiful golden colour uh, during the wet season to a sort of dull grey during the dry season. Stephen, they don't actually change colour. I think it's just the light um, and reflecting off and, and what's around them. They don't change colour at all. Um, even in the dry season, the lions retain that golden colour as long as there's golden light on them. So uh, they don't change colour at all. Um, you will find some lions are more pale than others, and some are more golden than others. Some have cub spots that last into adulthood, some some don't. So it all depends um, and uh, on the individuals, but I, they don't actually change colour at all. Oh, she's very interested, and I can't see what's behind us. Let me just sit up quickly. Sorry about the bumps, Fig. Morning, Siberia, one of our Zoomies, and Siberia is wondering what is currently classified as a mega pride. Well, I don't think there's actually a, a sort of one classification, but from my experience, a mega pride sort of has to be. Uh, closing on on 10, 15, 15 or plus adults in a pride. Um, uh, so the last two... M oh, hang on, I heard something. I can hear a male in the far distance. A long, long way away. Um, uh, so the... The, the, the last true mega pride I spent a lot of time with um, was uh, called the Mountain Pride uh, within the Kruger Park. And uh, with cubs and males and everything, uh, by the time I left, they were on about 39 lions, about 16 or 17 adult females. Now, when prides get that size, uh, mega prides don't tend to stay together too long. Uh, the, the, 
the competition for food amongst the pride and the pressure on the lionesses for providing that food becomes very, very difficult. So what happens is those prides normally split into sub-prides. Now, in the Mara, that happens quite often, even before um, the prides get too big. So there's quite a lot of flu fluidity between the different lion prides, and you'll find quite a few different female prides in an area uh, will be related, uh, even if it is distantly. And the more time they spend apart, uh, the, the less friendly they are with each other. So they do, do become sort of enemies after a period of time, even though they might have come from the same pride. So we're going to spend a little bit more time with the Angama Pride. Um, if they don't get moving, I think we're going to go try and see if we can find that female cheetah who's been hanging around on the escarpment. But while we do that, I'm sure, uh, actually, I know for a fact, Jamie's been out all night. And uh, I think you need to ask her why she is the Marshmallow Queen.